Travel is back, and a lot is changing quickly and for the better. Italy is fully open for business, and after my recent trip to Rome, we just had to update you on the changing landscape of travel rules and restrictions because travel is becoming much easier these days. After this video, check out the links in the description below to our various blog articles on COVID and travel guidelines. To enter Italy, fully vaccinated travelers from the USA still need to present a negative COVID test taken no more than one day before travel. But if you're entering Italy from the European Union as a fully vaccinated traveler, you don't need to present a negative COVID test. Just your vaccine card or a green pass will do. You might be wondering what exactly a green pass is for someone visiting Italy. Don't stress, you don't have to have an EU digital COVID pass and likely already qualify for a super green pass to travel or sightsee. If you're not from the EU, you don't need to have the Italian version of a green pass to travel. You can use your home country's vaccination certificate as a super green pass, provided the vaccinations are on the EU approved list. In Rome, sites like the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and the Vatican Museums will ask to see your Super Green Pass. Definitely bring your vaccine card with you when you're sightseeing, riding trains, and using public transportation. Also, the outdoor mask mandate has been once again eliminated, but masks are still currently required indoors. The current rules are in effect until later this spring, when the expectation is to loosen further. When it's finally time to end your Roman holiday and fly back home, if you're traveling to the United States, you still currently need a negative COVID test result taken one day before you fly in order to enter the United States. It's a good thing this travel chore does not take much time. So COVID tests are still part of life. What I've done is I've made things a whole lot easier for myself by booking my COVID test ahead of time with the tour guy. After receiving an email with detailed instructions, the whole process took 20 minutes. Five minutes to take the test and 15 minutes to wait for the results. Hello, thank you. Don't forget to upload any necessary test results and vaccine cards to your airline or corresponding airline partner app for your onward travel. Boom, baby. So let's talk green passes. For me, that means my white CDC card. I had to show it once to get into the airport, another time to check in again at the airport lounge, and then finally at the gate. So that was a total of four times. I just had it in my passport. No problems, super easy. That's the way it is. You can also receive an EU digital COVID certificate, also known as a green pass, with your test results. Go ahead and book your test today on thetourguy.com.